In a significant development, eight militants affiliated with the banned National Liberation Front of Tripura have fled their camps in Bangladesh and surrendered to security forces in the state. In the first incident, five militants surrendered to Deputy Inspector General of Police Intelligence Krishnendu Chakravarti in Agartala along with arms and ammunition. The surrendered militants handed over a Chinese pistol to China-made rifles, munitions, communication equipment, Bangladeshi Taka, to Bangladeshi mobile SIM cards and various incriminating documents. In a separate development, three more NLFT cadres chose to surrender to the Border Security Force in Dhalai District. The surrendered militants are currently undergoing interrogation by senior security and intelligence officials to gather information about their activities and network. In Tripura, over the past few decades, due to the joint efforts of the central agencies and state authorities, there has been a positive trend of NLFT cadres opting to reintegrate into mainstream society. It may be added that since January 2023, a considerable number of NLFT cadres have surrendered to Tripura police and security forces. Notably, 26 active members of the NLFT have already surrendered during this period, while an additional eight have been arrested by Tripura police. And my colleague Pinaki Das joins us over the phone line for more updates on this story. Well, a Pinaki, eight militants of the banned National Liberation Front of Tripura, they have surrendered to the security forces in Tripura. Now, this, this development, it happened in two phases. First, initially, uh, five militants, they surrendered to the DIG intelligence in Agartala. And then, in a later separate development, three more of the NFT cadres, they chose to surrender. Now, Pinaki, the question that arises here is that what prompted this big, big development and did the security forces any, had any prior information that such a, a surrender uh, by the militants is going to happen? See, the surrender is a process that takes little time. It's not necessary that on that very day, the militants had fled and come over here. They keep a contact with the ground Official, uh, generally, we find the intelligence officials, and from uh, there, the development process started. And officially, uh, perhaps on that day, the surrender is shown uh, because there are negotiations and, and, and dialogues, what uh, uh, they have their conditions. Uh, both parties uh, uh, have their condition on basis of which. And, and this surrender, this may be uh, uh, due to several reasons. Uh, one, uh, perhaps the militant can see uh, the package that is been given and they uh, realize after uh, uh, joining the insurgency with the uh, fantasy or with the aim, uh, they join uh, insurgency and go there and find the life is totally different because often uh, we have seen uh, that the surrenders are disillusion uh, when they find that the leaders, what they had promised, and with the dream they had joined, uh, it's totally different when the ground reality. Uh, generally, uh, youths uh, are misguided and, and they find uh, that they had joined uh, with the expectation, particularly in Tripura, we have seen for a separate uh, a nation, uh, Tripura. Uh, but when, uh, when there is also at a certain age uh, a love for arms and munitions which uh, are loaded. And when they go there and, and they find that the real ground reality is totally different, the leaders live a uh, luxurious life in the main city and the cadres or the uh, uh, militants, those who actually work in the ground, they have very harsh life, uh, jungle life, uh, particularly we have seen. Uh, then they get the illusion and come back uh, and they try to come back to the main life. Uh, this may be one reason, and, and one uh, another we found that in, in the other side of the border, uh, the situation changes with the government over there. A lot of things depend on who is uh, in the other side of the government. And particularly in Bangladesh, we have seen after Sheikh Hasina government had taken tough steps and had declared uh, zero tolerance against uh, insurgency in his territory, and the good relation that India have with Bangladesh right. in such a situation, uh, they had no other option to come back 
uh, to India. Then the package is there from the central government and the, the state government. Uh, so there are several uh, different reasons behind it. Right. In this particular case, uh, also uh, it is not clear exactly why, but we are trying most of them are young and, and they perhaps are disillusioned with the life uh, in, in the, uh, after joining militancy. And that perhaps is one of the reasons behind joining and the good for the society and the country and the development activities that are taking place. Uh, uh, and, that, uh, and particularly when the insurgents, particularly the tribal insurgents, were started with the underdevelopment, and now things are changing. So all these are uh, 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 the reason behind. But one particular reason is not there. Many are there. So in this case also, perhaps all have worked together. And but it's good that insurgency is coming and and NLFT. Uh, this particular group, uh, particularly uh, Parimal Dharma. Uh, was uh, only a few were left, and they are also coming back. This, of course, will encourage more of the uh, cadres to return back to normal life, and this is good news for uh, for overall for all. Absolutely, absolutely, Pinaki. Also, arms and ammunition have also been uh, handed over by these uh, surrendered militants, along with incriminating documents. Now, interrogation is going on. A lot of information uh, will uh, very likely be, uh, you know. Uh, received by the security forces. Now, as you also mentioned, Pinaki, this is definitely a very positive trend of militants, uh, you know, considering to join the mainstream, which is definitely a very positive sign, a very good sign. Now, is there also a likelihood, is there any hope that in the near future, more of these youth are, uh, are willing to join the mainstream, Pinaki? See, a very handful number are left uh, in Tripura. Uh, earlier, though, uh, there were at least uh, uh, two groups, and I left in the uh, ATF. ATF had totally surrendered, and his top boss, uh, uh, he is now in the mainstream politics and uh, uh, MLA. And, and NLFT also, recent also, we have seen two of the big leaders uh, were arrested uh, by the police at the end of uh, December uh, last uh, year. Uh, and, and this is a very good positive sign. Uh, and only a very handful number are left, and hopefully, as the police and the security forces, the initiatives they are taking, hopefully, uh, it will be uh, totally, um, whole group uh, will be clear. Uh, but the numbers are very less, but still, uh, they keep on, uh, on, on to express or to make their uh, uh, existence felt. They often uh, hit and run back uh, after uh, doing some incidents. And particularly before the election, we see uh, their activities uh, growing uh, because that is the time when they uh, they want to make uh, the, the the everyone feel that their existence is still there. Uh, they do some small incidents, but and particularly they uh, keep on uh, giving uh, extortion notice. Uh, uh, but uh, since Tripura is getting totally fenced, and majority of the borders are fenced. And the good relation with the neighboring uh, uh, country, uh, we hope uh, this will be totally, uh, it will be a past, uh, insurgency will be a past in Tripura soon. Right. Pinaki, thank you so much for joining in and uh, giving us all the details. Well, we were top story at this hour that Northeast Life is uh, very closely tracking in a significant development. Eight militants affiliated with the banned National Liberation Front of Tripura have fled their camps in Bangladesh and surrendered to security forces in Tripura. In the first incident, five militants surrendered to Deputy Inspector General of Police Intelligence Krishnendu Chakravarti in Agartala along with arms and ammunition and the surrendered militants have handed over a Chinese pistol to China-made rifles, munitions, communication equipment, Bangladeshi Taka to Bangladeshi mobile SIM cards and various incriminating documents, whereas in a separate development, three more of NLFT cadres chose to surrender to the border security forces in Dhalai district.